is this keyboard really worth $280? Let's talk about it. Now, before we get started, System76 did actually send me this device to review. Uh, so thank you to them for sending me this. So I've had the System76 launch keyboard for about a month. And I, I have to say that it has been so far one of the most pleasant and, and most addictive typing experiences I've ever had with a keyboard. Now, for the last two or so years, I've actually been using the uh, Logitech Craft keyboard. This thing is great. I actually really like the responsive feel of the membrane. Uh, I was a bit hesitant to go back to a mechanical keyboard just because how much I love how this thing feels and how quiet it is when I'm typing. And I have to admit that the uh, launch keyboard really did alleviate all of the hesitation that I had about going back to a mechanical keyboard. So first, let's talk about the actual typing experience because that's what really matters most with the keyboard, right? I find it to be both comfortable and addictive to type on, like I said. The model that System76 sent me for this review, uh, it actually has royal switches in it. These switches feature a tactile press and they describe it on the launch keyboard's homepage as a muted clack. And I can definitely confirm that. And I really like how the keys feel when I press them. To, to be completely honest, I have never been a fan of the way the more clickety switches feel. I don't like how they sound. I, I find them to be painfully obnoxious when, when you click and it clacks right back at you. So having these more muted yet still tactile switches uh, has made all the difference. I have been slow to adjust to the compact and, and TKL design. And my muscle memory for home and end, delete, page up and page down has really been slow to adapt to this uh, new layout here. I've also noticed that the key placement here, the keyboard itself, is actually slightly wider. I mean, I'm talking like a fraction of an inch wider, and that's led to a few more typos. None of those critiques are deal breakers for me. Uh, I will learn how to use this keyboard over time. Uh, my, my fingers will adjust. But I think that this device is more than just a keyboard. I mean, it has many features that I think make it stand head and shoulders above most of the other uh, mechanical keyboards on the market. So one of my favorite things about this device is the built-in USB hub on the rear of it. Not only does the launch keyboard have two type A USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports in the rear, it also has two type C ports as well. Notably, to get all that bandwidth, you'll actually have to connect uh, this keyboard to a uh, USB 3.2 Gen 2 port on your PC, um, but that shouldn't be a problem for most newer computers. Now, the System76 launch keyboard actually has a modular hardware design that allows end users to customize this device to their heart's content. In an era where right to repair is a right that's under threat, having a product like this from nerds who encourage modification and customization is a luxury of note. In the box is included a keycap puller as well as a key switch puller, which was not something that I was aware could be done. <laughs> I'm pretty new to the uh, custom keyboard scene, if you can't tell. This means that if you want your uh, modifier keys to have a different feel than the rest of your keyboard, you can buy new switches and put them in here yourself. Now, when I first got this device, the left space bar uh, would sometimes add an extra space when I would tap it. And it occurred to me, maybe I can just pull the switch out and reseat it. So I did and it fixed it. <laughs> if I had taken this to the Apple Genius Bar, uh, it would have taken them three weeks to diagnose the problem. They would have attempted and failed to fix the issue and then replaced the defective, defective hardware and thrown a perfectly good working keyboard in the trash and then charged me $300 for the privilege of using their service. So the fact that I found the issue, diagnosed the problem myself and fixed it, I mean, that's nothing to shake a stick at. Also of note is that the launch keyboard uses standard sized Phillips head screws. So if you want to get into this device and dig around, you don't need some exotic set of screwdrivers. But if you do want some exotic uh, screwdrivers, head over to the link in the description. It's an affiliate link. And this is my absolute favorite set of screwdrivers. I've used this uh, for all kinds of projects. I love it. Now the launch keyboard is not just customizable from the hardware perspective, it's also customizable from the software front. It's very easy to reassign buttons here. System76 has built a configurator application which works on Linux, Mac, and yeah, even Windows. And it allows you to change things, not just like the key layouts, but also, you know, customizing the LED patterns and all kinds of other stuff. 
And yeah, I mean, the other cool thing about this is the LEDs. I mean, I, it has a full RGB range. I, I really like the LEDs on here. I kind of wish that it would shine through the keycaps rather than around the outside of the keycaps, but it it's nice. I like it. So the System76 launch keyboard is a premium device. I mean, it is $285. So the question you might be asking is, is it worth that much? Well, if you're the kind of person who uh, just wants you know, uh, a keyboard that works and doesn't care about like, you know, macros or, or creating uh, or customizing the, the device at all. It probably isn't for you. But after having used this device for a month and seeing all the features that it has, not only is this a great keyboard to type on, which accounts for the majority of the price right then and there, but when you factor in the, the costs of a USB 3.2 Gen 2 hub, a good one, not one of the crap ones, when you account for the premium feel and weight of the chassis, when you factor in the costs of what it would take for you to build this device on your own, not even counting the time that you had spent building it, and the ability to rest easy at night knowing that this device was designed and built in the United States, well, then I would say that that all adds up to a price tag that makes the System76 launch keyboard feel like a bargain. Again, it might not be the keyboard for everyone, and I think System76 knows that. But if you are curious about building custom keyboards, if you've done any like preliminary research at all about the actual cost of building your own keyboard from scratch, then you'll know that this is a competitive device not even counting the USB hub and the, the premium feel of the finished product. So suffice it to say, I love the System76 launch keyboard. This thing is awesome. Uh, I am a huge fan and I am friends with many of the folks that work at System76. So take that into consideration. But um, I really do love this keyboard. It's my favorite keyboard I've ever typed on. The only thing that I wish that it had was... Uh, a 10 key numpad. I mean, I really w I miss the numpad from my old keyboard. Um, I use it all the time uh, for, for business stuff. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you like what I do here, if you believe in the work that I do, you can help support the show with a monthly contribution over on Patreon. Um, or you can head over to the description. There is a link to buy one of these. Help support the show when you uh, pick up uh, any of the stuff from the affiliate link in the description. So thanks for that as well. Um, but I think that's going to do it for now. I really appreciate you guys being here as always. Uh, and if you like what I'm doing, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share this video on social media, wherever uh, people want to see cool content like this. Um, but that's going to do it for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. And I have to admit that the Logitech, and I have to admit that the launch keyboard, when, when you, and I have to admit that the Logitech, and I have to admit that and I have to admit that this craft keyboard here, and I have to admit that the launch keyboard really did alleviate all the hesitances I...